Kris Jenner is in tears after O.J. Simpson confirmed his affair with Kris before passing. The Kardashian family seems to be facing the largest scandal in history. Speculations about the recent passing of O.J. Simpson have unearthed shocking revelations, implicating Kris Jenner in a crime that has sent shockwaves through Hollywood. According to Gossip Mill rumors, O.J. sent a letter before he passed away that reportedly indicates Kris in the tragic passing of O.J.'s ex-wife, Nicole Brown. In the letter, O.J. explains how his turbulent relationship with Nicole resulted in his relationship with Chris, which ultimately led to Nicole's tragic passing. Chris and the whole Kardashian family may collapse if the claims turn out to be true. Being accused of taking part in a crime with such widespread media attention would damage their reputation and may result in terrible consequences in court. Chris is completely upset by his statement and still tries to deny it. She is afraid of the truth that may finally emerge. An insider says that Chris is not feeling well and she is trying to avoid publicity. OJ Simpson and the Kardashian family have had a long relationship that existed before his double murder trial. Um, I had known OJ since I was 17 years old. When I met Robert, I met OJ. The famous lawyer Robert Kardashian Sr. and the former athlete became close friends when they were in college. Chris ended up becoming close friends with both OJ and Nicole. At the height of their closeness, the Kardashian children even called them auntie and uncle. But when OJ was charged with murdering Nicole and her friend Ronald Goldman, that friendship ended, at least for Chris. Chris took the side of her deceased friend. Meanwhile, her husband Robert Sr. went on to represent OJ in his double murder trial. My ex-husband was on one side and, you know, I was kind of on the other. The kids were in the middle. With Chris sitting on Nicole's side of the courtroom and her ex-husband representing the defense, the Kardashian family appeared to be split during the murder trial. Despite being convicted guilty of the deaths and having to pay millions of dollars to the families of the victims, OJ was cleared of all charges. Chris wrote in her 2011 memoir, Chris Jenner and All Things Kardashian, that Nicole had detailed years of physical abuse by OJ to Chris so she could act as a witness if needed in the future. She said she wanted to show me some things and talk about what was in her safe. Though OJ was acquitted of the double murder, he spent nine years in prison, starting in 2008 after he was charged with armed robbery and kidnapping. He was released on parole in 2017 after the minimum time served. The relationship between the Kardashian family and OJ dissolved following the trial and Robert Sr.'s death, but their names have remained intertwined in the media. OJ Simpson once bragged about his hot tub hookup with wife's best friend Kris Jenner that... In the past, Kris denied rumors that she had an affair with OJ. Some rumors went so far as to allege that OJ is Khloe Kardashian's true father. Many rumors have been made about the Kardashian family throughout the years, with Khloe's paternity coming up on several occasions. The obvious physical differences between Khloe and her siblings frequently feed this assumption. Her natural hair is curlier, her skin is lighter, and her looks are different. When looking back at old photos of the Kardashians as children, Chloe stands out in the photos, looking more like a family friend than actually being part of the family. In addition to having a different appearance from the rest of her well-known family, Chris has acknowledged cheating on her husband, Robert Kardashian. Chris's memoir from 2011 includes details of her cheating. I did have regrets. I thought, wow, what was I thinking? Chloe has been feeling particularly down due to her relationship with Tristan Thompson, who cheated on Chloe multiple times. In case you missed it, Chris sat Chloe down one on one to talk about Tristan Thompson's infidelity, leaving Chloe feeling defensive and uncomfortable. In essence, Chris said during their conversation that she was concerned Chloe would regret not giving Tristan another chance, despite the several times he cheated on her. Before we continue, like this video and subscribe to our channel to be informed about new juicy Kardashian updates. Most notably, Tristan apologized to Chloe in public for humiliating and breaking her heart, after it was discovered that he was the father of a child, not by her. It was later revealed that Chloe and Tristan were also planning to become parents to a child born through surrogacy around the time of their hidden engagement. Chloe couldn't imagine taking someone back who treated her so badly, even if Chris urged her to reconsider giving Tristan another chance. Chloe then confronted her mother about her affair, 
inquiring as to what state of mind her mother was in at the time. And I made a huge mistake. I'm, that's like my life's biggest regret. Chris's sense of guilt is obvious, as is her knowledge of Chloe being the main victim of her cheating. Because of this, the paternity scandal gained more attention. Chris has been pushing Chloe to get a paternity test to end the allegations permanently for several years now in an attempt to set this right. Chloe has declined, stating that she doesn't give a damn about what people say and that Robert Kardashian is and will always be her father. However, fans speculated that Chloe refused to take a DNA test to keep herself from discovering that she wasn't a Kardashian. Many people have claimed that OJ Simpson is Chloe's real father, and rumors claimed that Chris and OJ were closer than just being friends and that they may have shared a deeper bond at the time Chloe was conceived. Some fans think that Chloe has a resemblance to OJ, and some fans have pointed out that her daughter True also looks like OJ. Some fans think that Chloe looks just like OJ Simpson's daughter Sydney. When OJ Simpson premiered The Lost Confession on Fox back in March, fans couldn't help but notice the resemblance she shares with Chloe. Fans were pretty much convinced that Chloe and Sydney were siblings after watching the special. According to OJ's manager Norman Pardo, OJ had an affair with Chris. However, OJ claimed that Norman wasn't even his manager at the time of his claim. Ellen, Robert's third wife, was another individual who attempted to change the story. Ellen stated that Robert had admitted, shortly before his death from pancreatic cancer, that he didn't think he was Chloe's biological father. Since Ellen made these remarks soon after filing for bankruptcy, many people assumed that Ellen was the one saying them. In the meantime, Chris made several attempts to set the record straight. She even convinced each Kardashian-Jenner child to do a 23andMe DNA test in order to learn more about their background. Chloe acknowledged that she has Middle Eastern DNA as they were going over their test results, which would mean that her father Robert Kardashian, an Armenian-American, is the source of this DNA. But Kris Jenner hasn't entirely lost her guilt. You get the impression that she still feels the need to prove that Chloe's biological father is Robert Kardashian's and to show that she was not unfaithful when Chloe was born. Chris appears to take a step back and attempt to refute the rumors during an episode of The Kardashians. Regarding Chloe and Tristan Thompson's son Tatum, Chris said some very interesting things. Since Chloe posted the first pictures of Tatum, fans have been commenting on how much he looks like her younger brother Rob. Chris claimed that when she noticed how much Tatum looked like her ex-husband Robert Kardashian Sr., she became worried. Chloe, this is the spitting image of your dad and your brother. It's freaking me out. Chris continues with a truly fascinating statement. She looks away while she states that the DNA is real, which some people feel is a verbal cue when someone is lying. What are your thoughts?